see you yeah. later. Oh, excuse me. Decepticon, the tiger on the RTM radio network with the Yankee and the Brit. Mr. Cameron, sir, what's going on? I see a new young last lad. Uh, b- b- well, h- hello there. Anyways, Mr. Hi, Richard. How you doing? Nice to see you drop in for a little bit. Richard Pesoric, if I got it right. If not, apologize. You can correct me if you like. Won't bother me a bit. Oh, JB's in the house. Mr. Schmidt. I wonder if he lives in a Schmidt house like the other Schmidt. I don't know. Sounds like a crock of Schmidt to me. Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network, on a Friday, doing the rock and roll thing. Boo. <laughs> Dave says we've got to say hi to him. You always got to say hi to Dave. You can't get away without it. <sighs> oh, excuse me. The roast beast is coming back up. Totally. Not as good the second time, though. It smells though. as well. Who? He said, and it smells as well. What, the second time around or the first yeah. time? <laughs> coming second out which end? <laughs> Hasn't started coming out the other end yet. Time will tell, that's for sure. How's everybody tonight on a rock and roll Friday night? Def Leppard, some ZZ Top, Iron Maiden. We'll get her done, son. Hang in there while we keep right on a jamming. Lincoln Park on the RTM Radio Network. Lincoln Park, and somewhere I belong on the Yankee and the Brit radio network. Yes, ma'am? What? What'd you say? Dave says to tell his mother-in-law to shut the hell up! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Why would you talk like that to your mother-in-law? All it does is start trouble. What's the matter for you? Uh, Dave wanted to know if you got your ice cream. I have. I got my ice cream. I'll be eating this forever. It's huge. And I took a picture for her to post just to prove that she got her sonic ice cream. She's been crying about it all week, and finally I couldn't take it anymore. I had to take her. Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I just got the old evil eye. <laughs> so, anyways, like I was going to say, uh, hello there to uh, Mr. Paul Elliott in the house, right? And uh, somebody else just popped in here I was going to say hello to. And I lost him already. Mrs. Dave, I think I said hello to that beautiful young lass over there. Um, anyway, somebody else was here. I got Richard's name right. That just tickled me to death, the fact I could pronounce it properly. Donald Schmidt. Yeah, JB, Donald I said hello Cameron. to him already. Remember, I asked if he was in, he lived in the Schmidt house. Who? Darren Hello. Did I say hello to Darren? If not, hello, Darren. I think I got everybody. Hey, Darren, 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 while we're there, if you want to record anything that, uh, to do with your charity, we will play it on the show. We'll happily, happily play it for you. you yeah, know. good eye, good point. And if you uh, don't want to record something, send me a script. I'll read it. We'll, yeah. We'll record it, and we can play that. Not a problem. Sounds like a good deal to us. So uh, get us something. We'll, get it uh, done. We'll get it on here. Hi, Kapoo. Yes, hello. And uh, let's see. Oh, Ronald's here again, of course. You're sliding through tomorrow. Oh, up that way. Uh-oh. Ron's going to shuffle off the buffalo. I have to find that song. That's a good tune. What? You can't roll a skate in a buffalo. <laughs> no, uh, the shuffle off the buffalo. Jeez, uh, uh, isn't that uh, the dead that do that? I have to check and see. Grateful Dead. Yeah. I don't know. I know, I don't remember. Grateful Dead, I think. I'm going to have to look it up now. It's been a long time since I've heard that shuffle off the buffalo thing. Um, oh, not a problem, believe me. The... Uh, you know, you, you were asking about getting some fedoras printed on, and I don't think that's a problem, depending on the, you know, whether they're well, too fuzzy or not. Well, but I sent him the link yesterday, and it showed like the prices. You know, they can be anything like up to two hundred dollars well, th- for, yeah. for one. You know, and it, they're all different styles. You know, you best to really choose. That was the whole issue was size for one thing, because you know, like ball caps, they're adjustable to a certain point, unless you really got a fat head. But like with uh, the fedoras and that, they're all different sizes and, uh, you know, the materials that they're on. Some of those things are really fuzzy, those felt ones. I don't know about printing on them, how well that would work out, I suppose. It probably could be done, but, you know, I mean, we have another way we could probably do it. I don't know how it would look. I'd be willing to try one. Wait a minute. Dave's mother-in-law, will you please shop? David Wayne, what's the matter with you? <laughs> yeah, Dave, leave your mother-in-law alone. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's you that gets the blame for all this, Dave. I'm just the mouth. I see. Is she there with you, Dave, or is she just listening? Because, uh, um, 
you know, this is, might be what she sounds like. Hey, go clean the goddamn fucking yard up and mow the grass and take out the trash and sweep the garage and clean it out. And I want you to fix the fucking door and the leaky faucet and all the shit that you haven't been fucking doing. Quit watching football and racing and drinking so much fucking beer and everything, and I'm just fucking pissed off. So you better listen, David Wayne. Damn it. Let's jump over here to the Bell's Bulletin Board for a minute. The 2015 Summer End Jam is coming up on August 15th at 5 p.m. at Joshua's Crossing up in Denison. Um, you can prepare for back to school with a night full of family, friendly Christian fellowship and music. Multiple bands will be on the stage. Bring your friends, your lawn chairs, your food, your drinks. Some of the confirmed acts so far are Joshua's Crossing Band, King's Trail Cowboy Church Band, Fusion Bible, Temple Baptist from Gainesville, uh, this is a family-friendly event, so there'll be no alcohol allowed. It's free admission, hot dogs for the kids, and multiple vendors on site. Um, if you'd like some more information, you can visit facebook.com slash summerendjam or www.joshuacrossing.org. Vendor space is available also. You can call 903-487-6440 um, or email blackcloudchasing at gmail.com. There you go. Another friendly reminder from the RTM Radio Network and the Yankee and the Brit. It's a rockin' Friday night, man. Let's get over here and tap into some ZZ Top and John Lee Hooker. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Jennifer Whidbey. How you doing? I was going to say your last name. I wasn't sure if I'd get it right. Cuts? Wanted to be sure. <laughs> I love to try these names, but I wasn't prepared for that, I guess. So how are you? Welcome to the house. Hi, Leah. Nice to see you here. Um, everybody, welcome. Yankee Hi. Brit. Ron, bring me back some of them cones, buddy. I know there's always a box or two gets smashed under a tow motor. I've seen it happen many times, especially when I was uh, <clears throat> loading my own truck. There always happened to be a box or two that would, uh, well, I don't know how it happened. They'd always just fall off. It was amazing. And they'd get bumped by the tow motor just enough that they couldn't be shipped. It was amazing how that always happened. Same with steaks, too, especially the frozen ones. But anyways, that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, old truck driver stories. Hey, Dave was talking. Dave made a post earlier on Facebook about um, what you thought about cops having guns. Or should, uh, should uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I know Dave will anyways. Uh, it was about uh, whether unarmed cops should carry their guns with them and stuff. I mean, you're a cop whether you're on duty or off duty, right? Mentally, I mean, that's what you live for. That's what you do. And uh, he was talking about, like, in the theater attack in uh, Louisiana the other day. Um, you know, you can have all the guns you want. My opinion about the whole thing is you can, you can have all the unarmed cops you, or armed off-duty policemen or, or you know, uh, what do they call those private dicks? Uh, whatever. You get what I'm talking about. Um, you can have all those you want, but if somebody's walks in there planning to do something and you don't know they have that weapon with them they come in and they sit down and they're part of the crowd um you know everybody calms down starts watching a movie and the guy just stands up and starts shooting what are you going to do you can't draw on that guy that fast he's already done damage so you know i mean yeah it's going to save a lot of lives but i don't think it matters whether they're armed or unarmed i think there should be you know probably whether it's private detectives or undercover cops whatever you want to call them probably should be somebody there but you're not going to stop it i mean if somebody's going to go in there and do that they're going to do it it's just like somebody breaking into your house you can put up all the freaking alarms and lights and crap you want but if somebody wants in they're coming in they don't care you know so i just thought i'd mention that because it was quite an interesting question actually so uh i just figured i'd throw my two cents in there Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network, some Iron Maiden, my request. <music> Iron Maiden, a trooper on the Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network on a rockin' Friday night, 7.41 p.m. What Chris said about the last part, especially about stop, uh, stop reporting all these massacres that help cut down. You know, it's like standing out there waving a red flag in front of the bull. Here you go, come get me, you know. You know, you, every time something happens, they, they make a big story out of it. It runs on for three or four days. Number one, I get sick of seeing the same goddamn pictures over and over and over. You know, you send a guy out there to take video, and then he uses the same six pictures. Are you that friggin' lazy? You know, make a couple different sets. Change them once in a while. Stop being so lazy. 
But uh, stop telling everybody. It's just like an invitation. Hey, this guy killed somebody here. Why don't you go over to your local theater and kill somebody? I mean, seriously, come on. Christ, it's like the friggin' military, you know? They tell you every goddamn thing that goes on. And you think the bad guy's not watching? You think he's not picking up on what's going on? Jesus, criminy. They wouldn't be, uh, you know, they're not that stupid. Just because they're mass murderers and killers, and, um, you know, like I'm referring to maybe ISIS, because they're killing everything that lives and breathes. You know, it's not like they can't watch TV and say, oh, this guy over here, he's crazy, he's going to kill somebody. You know, that's what they're doing. They're just sitting there watching that shit. They take it all in. The Internet, you know, recruiting all these lone wolves, so they call them. Everybody's got to have a name. Everything needs a name, you know. But uh, cut off those son of a bitches. What the fuck is with this? You know, I understand freedom of speech, blah, blah, blah. But come on, this is infiltration. Knock these bastards out. Shut their fucking Facebook feeds off. Tumblr, wherever else they're at. Cut them off. You know who they are. Don't tell me you don't know who they are while we're surveilling them so we can catch them later. When how much damage do they do before you catch them? Cut them off. Stop that shit. Kids are easily influenced, and that's just the way to go about it, and it's just a bunch of bullshit. Anyways. My dearie, you're having a run. I kind of am, yeah. Cause it's well, you need to fucking, up your volume a bit. Fucking country's full of assholes. I can't turn it up too loud. I'm talking about your ma. You call that a rant. It's a piss poor What do you want me to do, <laughs> Ethel? Jeez. Hey, that's my man. There's my husband uh. right there, that shouty dude. Ah, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> Just sped up with the whole goddamn thing. I'm pretty much going to start watch, stopping watching the news, too. I got to go back. I've been engrossed in it every day, every morning for a little bit, and then uh, at night. And the local news channel, oh, my God. God, what a bunch of idiots that's getting to be. The same story, three or four days in a row with, like, two lines of update, which tells you nothing. And the same pictures. Roll the beautiful bean footage of the guy walking up and lifting up the police line and walking under it. That tells me a lot that's going on over there. You know, what the fuck kind of shit is with these people? I don't know. Yeah, blow the motherfuckers up and call it a day. I'm all about it, man. Nuke the whole goddamn place over there. It's, you know, people are, you, know, you can't say that, you'll kill all those innocent people. You know what? Those innocent people should be fighting the people in their own country that they don't like. You know, as far as I'm concerned, you guys bitch and whine about ISIS taking over your country, but you sit back in your living room and don't do nothing about it. You know, and those people want lives just like we have, the majority of them. And they, they sit there like we do, and they don't do anything. Bullshit. Get up. Start a fucking movement. Go out there and take those bastards out. You know, you stop them from stop your own people from going everywhere else, and we'll leave you alone. But man, come on! I just say nuke the whole fucking place. You know, look at Chernobyl. Didn't hurt anything. It's all starting to grow back and come back. Now might be a little radioactive for a few more hundred years, but you know, who's going to Iraq anyways? Turn it back into a desert. Call it a day. They destroyed all those monuments and all those things from thousands of years ago, and. Let's go over there and nuke those bastards. Let's destroy them. They'll come back in a few million years or something. Or, or put them on a ship and send them to the new, that new planet that they said is like Earth. Send them up there as a test group. See if you can get out of the ship and breathe. If you even live long enough to get there. What is it, 1,400 light years away or something like that? By the time they get there, we won't have to worry about them. Radioactive, radioactive. All right, I'm done, I think. Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network, 745, Def Leppard, when love and hate collide. Hey, CDC, jailbreak. The Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network on a Friday, rocking night, 756, just about straight up 8 o'clock. Looks like you guys are having a good time. Dave's going shoe shopping again. Jeez, here we go. Mother-in-law, please take him out let him get some new shoes. Yeah, but take him for a nice makeover. Put lots of makeup all over his face and um, take, him, take him shopping, drag him around lots of shops, but don't let him go in a shoe shop. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chris says she might be heading up to Sturgis. I hope so. I hope you get them shirts and take them with you. I hope they look good. I hope you're happy with them. That should be quite a ride. Always wanted to get up there and just never, ever had the chance. Just uh, then I got out of the biking days and kind of away from it and never made it. But that was way back when. Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network. Yeah, Dave, I'm uh, still tinkering with it, but it's, uh, it's pretty rough. It's got a lot of noise in it, so, you know, because of being recorded on a cell phone like that or however it was recorded. So wish I could find a nice, clean copy of it. I'd be more than glad to play it. Oh, I'll find the shoe store and the Oakley store. 
Oakley store? Isn't that hunting supplies, or am I at the wrong Oakley? I don't know. Just taking a guess. Rainbow, all night long with the Yankee and the Brit. Yankee and the Brit, Rainbow, all night long on the RTM Radio Network on a Friday rockin' well, right night. stop, stop. What, 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 what? We called Larry's mobile yesterday in order to sing him happy birthday, but it literally doesn't even let you have his answer machine either. I thought maybe we'd catch his answer machine. Um, so we was going to sing happy birthday to him. So we're going to have to sing it now. To who? Three. Larry. Oh, I wasn't paying any Three, attention. Sorry. Two. One. Anytime. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Happy birthday, birthday to, to you! you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Larry! Yeehaw. Happy birthday, dear Larry! Yippee! 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 Make sure you tell Larry we were thinking about him. We love him and we miss him. Yes, we do. Yankee we and the Brit, Megadeth, Holy Wars on the RTM Radio Network by request. Megadeth, Holy Wars on the RTM Radio Network by request on a rockin' Friday night. 8.09's the time. Here in beautiful Bells, Texas, looking absolutely beautiful outside. Cooling down a little bit. Just about safe to go out there now. It was hotter than a bitch today, 105 or 6 or 9 or something like that. I Anyways. Reckon, I reckon we should get out on hi, that Hi, Christine. Porch later. Who? I reckon we should get out on that porch later. Yeah, maybe like after dark. Mm. It's friggin' toasting out there look right at the, the moment. Stars. You guys, any of you guys ever look at Mother Earth News? What a great magazine. Even today, after all these years, still got a lot of good stuff in it. Getting kind of wanky like a lot of magazines. Too many ads and shit, but I know they got to pay the bills. We need to have some ads to pay the bills. But besides that, um, I saw a little article in there where you take a milk bottle, a plastic milk jug, after it's emptied, of course, and fill it with water and throw it in the freezer. And it'll freeze, put the lid on it, then you just poke some tiny holes in the bottom of it, set it out by your plants or your bushes or whatever it is you want to water, and uh, let, let the sun do its work. I tried one this morning. Works beautiful, man. I just poked a few small holes in it, sat out there, and the old uh, blueberry bush is looking nice and damp, staying moist. Ooh. Um, what is it actually? Blackberry. You love it moist. Is it blackberry or blueberry? Blackberry. Blackberry. Yeah. Let's he start always to take calls off. it a blueberry bush. I know. I never get it right. It's like everything else I screw up. But it works nice, so I put another one in the freezer just while that song was playing, so I'll have another one in the morning. Love it. Great little idea. Anyways, I'm a Mother Earth News fan. Love that book. Wish it came more often. Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network. Hello, Becky. What's going on over there? Good looking. Say hello to Tim for me when you get a chance. Oh, let's see. Anything else I need to mention? No, not right at the moment, I guess. So we'll go back to some jamming. Ted Nugent, Stranglehold. On the RTM Radio Network with the Yankee and the Brit. And the Brit Wit. The Nit Wit. And all that good stuff. Okay, it's Friday night. You can pull up youporn.com, but you'll have satisfaction in about three minutes. If you're lucky. As soon as you're done with that, tune in to the Yankee and the Brit Show with Randy and Donna on RTM Radio Network. Yes, sir, we're having a party on the RTM Radio Network with the Yankee and the Brit on a rockin' Friday night. What's going on, Rocking everyone? Rocking with your cups out, gentlemen. Woo! Woo-hoo. 826 on a Texas night looking beautiful outside. You guys are having a party out there all, all your All right, own. Randy, Randy, Randy. Dave said you love me. Now admit it. Admit that you love Dave. I, 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 I do. I love you. Louder. There, I said it. No, you're lucky I said it one time. Louder! Now I love you! Aww. And Dave, too. <laughs> That's a declaration for you. Mm, this is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the way you go. Somebody had said something about slow ride. How about Fog Hat? The Yankee and the Brit? 
on the RTM Radio Network. Slow ride, frog hat, the RTM Radio Network with the Yankee and the Brit on a wonderful Friday rocking night. How you guys doing? Looking all right. Yeah, I just want to say hello to some of the outsiders who swing by here. Chris Make, Jim Lacey over there across the street. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate your help on uh, and getting that? some internet that works. And my Aunt Wanda, of course. Mwah. Love you, Auntie. My Aunt Helen, who never listens, but hello anyways. My Aunt Shirley over there in Florida. Got a lot of relatives in Florida. Uh, anybody else uh, that swings by and clicks our little button? Thanks for clicking our little button. I love it when somebody clicks on me. Yankee and the Brit on the RTM Radio Network. Uh, yeah, Donna, we got a, a Sonic m M&M Blast, and it's had some stringy stuff in it. Like, I don't know what it is, some kind of plastic-looking string. It almost makes me think that their blender is cutting into some plastic it's, a, it's in a foam cup, so it's not foam because foam doesn't do like that, but somewhere along the way. And uh, that's what it looks like anyways because it's, it's a little bit thicker than a hair, but the ice cream sticks to it pretty good. So she called him up. She's like, here, talk to this woman. <laughs> I said, what's the matter? You can't understand her? And the girl goes, the girl said no. And I said, she's British. And she, all she said was, oh. <laughs> And uh, so I had to explain to her what was going on. Will you bring that back and we'll get you another one? Well, I wasn't worried about getting another one. You know, Donna's concern was that somebody else was drinking that nasty shit. So I hate to, you know, have some little kid choke on it or something. I don't, don't know if there's any any bigger than what we found in there. The longest one was about an inch and a half. But hate to see anybody gag on a little string in their ice cream. It's not that, is it? Sometimes people can't digest what they eat and, you know... That right. shit just sits on your stomach. I can't digest. So yeah, maybe we should ban the bl- ban the blast. Ban the blast. That's what we got to do. Let's oh, ban you- it. America doesn't need it anymore. I've had it. Let's ban everything. Just stop it. No more nothing. Oh, you would say that's about ice cream. It's about a fucking you, stupidest country's you know, gotten, though. You know when I uh, when we drive past the Sonic ice cream, I'll go, "Hey, look over there," and Randy will go, "Oh, look at the sky." <laughs> I go, "Oh, look, there's a Sonic over there." She's got like a freaking magnet on her mouth that says, "Ooh, Sonic, 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 Sonic." <laughs> <laughs> I always hear that little warning signal go off every time one's in view. Yeah, he's. He, he's I'll say, "Look at that, there's a Sonic over there," and he'll go, "And he'll go." Every time I hear that little. Oh. Then I know we're in trouble. <laughs> and it goes <laughs> it goes off constantly whenever we're around the Metroplex. My God, there's one on every friggin' block. They're about as bad as 7 Eleven. Hi, Alan McMahon. How are you? Who? Alan McMahon in the chat. Where do we know you from? Alan McMahon. Hello, Mr. McMahon. Can I call in? What's the number? What are you calling in for? You got something nasty to tell us? Can you call in? I've never had anybody ask me that. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Perfect number. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. Alan McMahon. Where's Alan McMahon from? Let's see what we got going on over here. He has no public tracks on Spreaker and no information either. How do you get away with that? We have to watch people like you. We never know what's going to happen. Uh, uh, no, you can't please call in. We don't know who you are or anything about you. We don't run that kind of show here. Just telling it like it is, buddy. That's what we do. You want to tell a story? Who are you? Tell us that story. Then we'll go from there. Yankee and the Brit. Right, write your story in the chat room, and my glamorous assistant over here will read your story. Yeah, we don't do call-ins right away. We hardly ever take calls anyways. The phone never works right half the time. Lucky we can get Dave to call and when, Yeah, I was just about to say, when we do get a caller that happens to stick, it's Dave. Look at his story. I'm Alan. Probably hey. another one of those trolls. Nice story. Anyways, uh, moving right along over here. Let's get to that Iron Maiden for Dave. I know he's itching to hear it. Yankee and the Brit, 839 on a rockin' Friday night. <laughs> Iron Maiden, Revelations on the RTM Radio Network with the Yankee and the Brit. Just rolling along here on a rocking Friday night. Just doing what we like to do. Rocking and rolling on the RTM Radio Network. By request from Chris Meatloaf with the Yankee and the Brit. (laughs) Bon voyage, Johnny boy. (laughs) 
<laughs> Dave's got a bloody good point there. You know, we're about to get on the get on the ship and he'll turn up five minutes before. Oh, you gotta well, love this guy. I saw you. <laughs> you don't have anybody's back, Christine. You're going back to the TV and watching Dick Line. I know what you're doing. Yankee and the Brit on the RTM Radio Network. Go, oh, buddy John. I love when he comes in the house. He's just a razor. He wasn't even talking about shit or anything, and he just turned up. It's not like him. Mm-hmm. He normally wakes up. And for early. God. Yeah. I don't know what's oh wrong my. with the boy. Must have bumped his aid. Shit, an hour early. And your comment about, you know, I was talking about the shirt. No, I don't have a clue what you meant by that, actually. I just figured it was time to give you a ration of shit. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> What are you talking about? A post about the shirts we're making. Oh. I hope he understands what I'm talking about. Foss? Fuck off slowly? What's that mean? Foss? Is that a new one? Full of shit. Oh. That's what she calls I you. see. She's the one that watches Dick Line. Like 90% of the Americans in this country, that's why they're all... Hey, I'm not being funny, but when that program was on the TV, you know, I thought it was about couples, a reality program. You were sat glued to Dateline that day when there was that prog- when there was that uh, that family where the uh, where the little kid was having seizures and uh, and they were going to give the child some um, marijuana. You know, you was all addicted to that. I program. don't think that was Dateline. It was. Was it? Yeah. Well, I thought it was interesting because somebody's talking something sensible instead of all those oh love stories where I killed my husband but I loved him so and all that. Fucking crap. You know. Full of shit. Yeah, I got it. My wonderful wife explained it to me. Now she's going to call me a foss. You foss head. For oh, shit. Believe me, I've got plenty of names for you. How are you, Mr. John? Everything going all right over there in Florida? Yeah, hopefully we're going to get to stop and see him while we're over there. That'd just tickle me to death. Oh, let's see. Where are, see, when we I? get there, we've got the, sh- we've got the show to do. With, I got um, your dateline right here. And I am talking. Oh, you, oh really? Sorry. <laughs> no, I said we're going to have the show to do. We're doing a live show at the hotel, and we're going to be quite busy over there. So we was going to come and see you, John Rooney, after the cruise. Yeah, um, or before. Probably after, huh? Yeah. We're going to be gone like three weeks. Do you realize that? Really? Pretty much, yeah. Really? Why three weeks? Well, it takes a couple of days to get over there. Because we're driving. And then we'll be gone for seven days. Then two or three days to come back. Because I want to stop and see my aunts and see John. So there's a day or two right there. It'll be almost three weeks before we get home. I haven't been on a vacation like that forever. I'm ready to fucking go right now. He's ready to party. (laughs) Yeah, we'll fit you in. First thing we have to do is get a tank of gas to get to Florida. Then we'll go from there. And and we need to send John Rooney a watch or send him some kind of alarm thing for his phone so that he turns <laughs> up on time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. I called the hotel today and left a message regarding the show. Well, I hope they're all right with it. I mean, I don't see what their issue would be. Hell, if we can do it right in the middle of the party. I don't want, you know, when Samo had said something about a conference room or something, I don't want that shit. I want to do it right there in the middle of everything. If I'm going to make an ass of myself, let's do it right in front of the whole damn family. Or the whole fam damnly, as far as that goes. Right? Okay. You're singing, <laughs> you're singing karaoke with Brad. Oh, yeah. So, you know, why can't we just uh, have a total party? Oh, you're not buying my gas because you'll have to buy our food. You'll have to buy our drinks. You'll have to buy everything, and we're not doing it. Done way plenty for us already. No, no, no. I'll say that right here in front of everybody. You've done plenty for us. Stop. Just stop. It would be nice if John could go, but I'm sure he's got a life, too. But it uh, would be cool if he made it to the hotel for the party or something for a few minutes. I don't think it doesn't cost anything to get in for that, does it, Dave? Can he just stop and visit? Or, uh, you know, I don't know how that works. I don't know if that's a private thing. You've got to have a ticket or a number. Or I mean, it's America. Everybody has a number, right? No cruises for you. What? What's the matter with that? Either way, Mr. If you had a bad time on a ship, tell us now. I want to know about it. (laughs) Either way, Mr. Rooney, we're going to see you. We can't wait to see John Rooney. I can't. No, it's been a long time. Christ, it's been, what, 40 years? 30-some years? Anyways, it's been a long time. I don't even remember when he left school. Christ, that was before I graduated. And that was many years ago. 
All right. Well, anyways, I'm just reminiscing, and my mind is flowing, and I'm thinking, and that's scary shit. Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network. So it's Friday and Saturday night, 7 p.m. Texas time. What better do you have to do with your life than listen to the Yankee and the Brit show with Randy and Donna on the RTM Radio Network? This just in from Dave Summers. I saw this on his Facebook post on the Truckers Gone Wild Cruise. Uh, thank you, Winston G. Baldnobber, for getting this done. Steel drums are back. Carnival Cruise Lines bringing back live Caribbean music to the Lido deck on most of their cruise ships, says Senior Cruise Director John Heald. This will be welcome news to many cruisers who enjoy listening to live Caribbean music while cruising to the Caribbean. The change comes after Heald posted a poll on Facebook asking Carnival fans what type of music they preferred on the Lido. DJ Spinning Beats replaced the live bands several years ago. When will the change take place? Passengers on the following ships can now enjoy live Caribbean music to the Lido. The Carnival Breeze, the Carnival Conquest, Carnival Ecstasy, woohoo, and the Carnival Pride. Carnival Liberty will be added in August and Carnival Dream in September, and most of Carnival's fun ships will have Caribbean duos playing music on the Lido by early 2016. Hats off to the Carnival Cruise Line for listening to their VIFP club members and making this change. Well, I can say I'd rather hear the calypso drums or the steel drums, whatever you prefer, than uh, listen to some DJ spinning, spinning a bunch of noise because I can hear that stuff anytime. Steel drums, cooler than snot on a doorknob. Oh, so yes. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. You know, I'm going to enjoy that because that's great backdrop music, too. As long as it's not so freaking loud, to play you can't those hear yourself school, think. Would you believe? Did you really? Yeah. Bum, 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 you played a steel drum? Yes, I did. Oh, I think they sound awesome, they man. Awesome. I love that stuff. We should have a show where we can slip some of that in there one of these nights. Slip some of it in there. Do it now. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, let's go back over here and do a tune. I just thought I'd throw that at you because I think that's pretty damn cool. So that's good. Yeah. That's uh, and I don't, I don't care for DJs making playing music anyways because it's always noise and crap. You know, it's, you know when you're on something like that, I like background music. I always like background music playing. And, like, you know, you're walking around the deck and stuff. It's nice to have that in the background and not, you know, yeah. blowing your brains out while you're walking around and trying to talk and enjoy yourself. So you get just the right distance from that. That is going to sound cooler than shit. I can tell you that much right now. Any money, I can't hold back with the Yankee and the Brit. The OJ for the love of money. Man's best friend besides a dog, money. The RTM Radio Network with Yankee and the Brit. Hi, Michelle. What's going on? The wondrous, illustrious Jean Harlow is here. Hello, Jean, you famous actress from way back when. <laughs> Hi, Jean Jane. How you doing? Mr. Schmidt has returned. Und das ist gut, ja? Ja, ja, ja. I can't remember who it was, but somebody, I think it was Dave Collins, wrote us a letter to see why he wasn't coming to the show. Do you remember? It was a long, 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 long time ago. No, I don't. Oh. No, I don't remember him writing a letter to no, I bet I've got a copy of it somewhere, but somebody somewhere, one of our listeners, wrote us a note to say that they couldn't listen to the show, and I must dig it out now. Why was it? I don't know. I don't know what it was. Uh, I'm sure it was probably Mr. Dave Collins. I hope it was him. It'd be cool to read. But it was some kind of sarcastic note, so it's got to have been Dave Collins. Okay. I don't remember, but I don't remember him doing that, but I was getting to like the guy. I thought he was pretty cool. Yeah, you guys, you Rest guys. Rest in peace, Mr. Collins. Yeah, you guys missed our Mr. Dave Collins. You guys would have laughed your stupid heads off in the chat room when Dave was here. Quite, oh, he quite a just, funny bloke he was. He just really made everybody laugh. Killed in a car wreck. Yeah. Pretty sad. We've never lost any listeners other than him. Yes. Not to death, anyways. <laughs> really Most of them just get nuked. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't see any redneck talk. Just. <laughs> I've been laughing my ass off. <laughs> Donna's like, what the fuck are you laughing yeah, at? Yeah, you know there? when Randy's found something funny because he stamps his feet while he's laughing, he does this. Do this. And, uh, and I don't know what. I'd, I don't know what is, what's going on over there, but... Um, John know, he, Rooney, that's what. Yeah, John Rooney. He keeps laughing and stomping his feet, so you know he's found it funny. I did. Very much so. Shit List by L7. Beep, beep. 
Yes, sir. Some quiet riots. Bang your head. We're rocking the F out of Friday and headed toward the weekend with a Yankee and a Brit on the RTM Radio Network. Taylor Twit. Now, there's a waste of breath, a waste of time, and a waste of music. I don't care how much money she's got or who she is or what she thinks she is. Pretty lonely at the top when you don't have any friends. You have all the money she wants. What good is it when you're alone? Not much. Pretty sad. I think she's kind of cunty in my book, but... You know, I mean, her shit with photographers and all that crap. Come on. What the hell's wrong with them taking pictures? And she's trampled on a lot of people to get where she is. Exactly. And I'm happy to have the friends I got, so I don't care how I get them. I want to keep them. I'm not going to chase them away over a friggin' dollar. It's a bunch of bullshit. But that's her life. That's her choice. She can do what she wants. But that doesn't mean I got to listen to that crappy music and watch her dance in them stupid videos. She looks like a friggin' pixie anyways, that nasty little face of hers and those eyes. What the hell? Disgusting. She can't help how she looks. Well, she needs to go get a face job. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about how she looks, or whether she shoves her fingers down her throat, Michelle. You know, there's so many people out there that they do that. You know, they've got bad eating disorders. You know, you. It's what they do. No, oh, she can eat this. I just find her annoying. Well, as as for her, as a, as a person, you know, like I say, you know, she's trampled on a lot of people to get to where she is, and if that's that's what you want to do in life then you know like randy says it's lonely at the top yep and it's your choice you can live your life any way you want don't matter to me it doesn't affect me in any way whatsoever i've got my principles and they are not for sale i will not trample on anyone to get anywhere i still got my opinions i like to give them freely (laughs) (laughs) yes sir oh just about closing time hey hey gotta have them drink them up let's go so uh get your last call in get your drinks we'll do more one little one more little uh, rocking thing here, then we'll get the hell out of Dodge. But Taylor Swift, bah, humbug. Rush, finding my way with a Yankee and a Brit on a rocking out Friday night. Yes, I mean Rush, yes, Rush, finding my way. The Yankee and a Brit, the RTM Radio Network. I guess we're about out of here. Had enough for tonight. I don't know about you guys, but I've been rocking my socks off over here with the old lady, having us a blast. Glad you guys came by. Don't forget tomorrow night, country night on the RTM Radio Network. Come along and tell us what you want to hear. We'll jam some serious country. That's what we like to do over here. That's right. That's right. Hi, Smiley. Hey. You look tired. That's it? (laughs) Nothing to say. (laughs) I see. Okay. Well, you're still tired. What a smile. Can't beat that. You and your ice cream. Well, anyways, uh, let's do one more sing-along before we get out of here, shall we? We want you on our cruise. Summers. Meet the summers. They're a modern cruising family. From the town of Cincy, they are out of Bozo's history. Let's cruise with the truckers on the ship, through the courtesy of Bretton's trip. When you're with the Summers, have a giggly wiggly do time, a giggly woo time. We'll all be gay like Dave. <laughs> Giggles! We'll all be gay. This is Brad James. And Random Man. I'm Donna. And Dave Summers. And Giggles. We would love for you to join SS Cruises for the Truckers Gone Wild 2016 cruise. And we'd like you to join us too if you can because I think it's going to be a friggin' riot. Well, that's it for tonight. We are done. About four minutes to go. We are out the door. Time to hit the knapsack. Bye to me. Bye to you. Bye to everybody. Appreciate it. Thanks, Michelle, for coming by. And, uh... Chris Steele and JB and the whole nine yards, all you guys. Nice to have you here all the time. Love you guys hanging out. Don't forget to share the Yankee and the Brit page. What was that? All the time. Oh, it should be louder like you used to do it. All the time! Oh, my God. Maybe on second thought. (laughs) (laughs) I guess that's all we got to say for tonight. So, until tomorrow night. Hasta el ambigo. Hasta la vista, adios and adios and ta-ta and 17. What's that mean? 
Wow, John, I can't even imagine. Two nights in a row? We'll look for you at about uh, 9.59. <laughs> yeah, that's if you're early. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Oh, we love you guys. Thanks much for coming by. Donna, say goodbye to me. Bye to me. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye, Dave. And say goodnight, Donna. Night, Donna. Gee, Brent, what are we going to do today? Same thing we always do, Brit. Try and take over radio. The Yankee and the Brit. The Yankee and the Brit. One is a genius, the other's a twit. On the radio, the beans have been spiced. The Yankee, the Yankee and the Brit. Brit, 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 Brit. Before the show is done, the killing will have begun. By the end of the show, the heads will explode. The Yankee and the Brits, the Yankee and the Brits. The ranting campaign can never be explained. To prove the radio work, they'll take over the earth. The Yankee, the Yankee and the Brit, 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 Brit.